and welcome to The Vibe, an online segment produced by the Bedford County Chamber of Commerce, supporting and celebrating the businesses and communities of the Bedford County region. I'm Kelly Goodman Schaefer, and here's what we're talking about today. It's St. Patrick's Day and one of 13 ethnic holidays distinguished by the Bedford County Commissioners to be recognized during 2021, the county's 250th anniversary celebration, spearheaded by the Bedford County Historical Society. Oh, St. Thomas's Church. Irish history in our region can be traced largely through the records of the Catholic Church. After an influx of Scotch-Irish or Ulster Scots, the second wave of Irish immigrants came during the potato famine of the early 1800s. And everybody was starving and then the place to come was America again. A lot of the Irish Catholics did not settle here. They mostly settled up in Massachusetts, in big cities like Boston and places like that and the heritage was there. There are some Irish Catholics that settled here. Among those who came to America was the priest of the first Catholic Church in Bedford County. The first permanent pastor of St. Thomas was uh, the Reverend Thomas Hayden, who came here in 1821 and formed the first small Catholic Church that was here. We have the most beautiful little church in the cemetery that's between Penn and Pitt. If you ever get an opportunity, you should go to visit it. Visit the small cemetery near Bedford High School and you'll see many references to the Emerald Isle, including the impressive monument to the most Reverend Thomas Hayden, as well as many citizens of the area named after the beloved priest. The third St. Thomas Church was erected in 1868, two years before Father Hayden's death. Wow. So if he died in 1870, he was instrumental in being that third church. He had done all three of those churches. The Historical Society encourages citizens of Bedford County to explore their heritage at the Pioneer Library, located along Route 30, just west of downtown Bedford. And what better year to do that than 2021, the county's Sester Centennial Celebration. It's important that children need to know what they came from, why it happened. You know, life, life is not hard, and a lot of children today don't know that. When the children come here, and I tell them stories, and they, I'll say, do you have a deal? And they'll put their hand up, and you can say, this deal did that. And another little boy will put his hand up, or a little girl, and they'll all say their surnames. And they want to know those stories about that, about their families, and what their families did here in Bedford County. And it is important. It's important to keep this going. Because if you don't know where you're coming from, you don't know where you're going to go. St. Patrick's Day festivities are already underway at the Golden Eagle Inn. The Irish-inspired menu continues through March. And you can join us for a special mixer and St. Patrick's Day celebration Thursday, March 18th. Irish Music Night has been moved indoors to the Bedford County Airport due to the forecast of rain. Join us at 5 for live music by Full Kilt, followed at 7.30 by the viewing of the Bird and Kelly music documentary Echoes the Story. Admission is $10. Bring your lawn chair and plan to follow all social distancing requirements for a great night of Irish music live and on film, plus food vendors, Old Bedford Brewing Beer, Bella Terra Wines, and more. Sponsored by Penwood Ophthalmic Associates, Timber Ridge Chiropractic, and Lynn Ash. And Friday, we'll take a closer look at another new networking opportunity, and this one online, a very special series of Zoom mixers featuring performances by local leaders. Just wait until you see who's behind some of those masks. Look for The Vibe Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on Facebook, YouTube, and BedfordCountyChamber.com. Ask us how you can become a sponsor of this program, and special thanks to the Chamber's Founder Circle members for your community-leading support of the Chamber mission. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Electrical? Done right. Since 1947, we have always been there for our neighbors and friends. Reliable, prompt, and always done right. Our name, our work, our promise. We guarantee it. Homewood at Springhouse Estates and Victoria House at Homewood. Keeping our residents safe during the COVID-19 crisis. I was in my apartment for almost a, a month and then I was provided everything that I needed. People have been very respectful about maintaining the social distancing and wearing their masks. I wouldn't want to be anyplace else but Spring House Estate right now. Victoria House at Homewood and Homewood at Spring House Estates. We're not home-like, we are home.